What's up, y'all boys? Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy JT Juice Man bringing you this video. Now, this is a normal man, a mobile video. Today, I will be breaking down the AFC South, which I think is very interesting. So, here we go first with the Houston Texans. They free. They are looking pretty good when it comes to the overall team roster. They got a franchise quarterback in Bryce Osweiler from the Denver Broncos, and they signed Lamar Miller, running back from Miami, the Dolphins, and free agency. And in the NFL draft, they picked up wide receiver Will Fuller out of Notre Dame. He ran the 4-3-2 and the 40 and averaged 20 over, averaged 20 yards on 62 catches in his final college season. They also picked up Nick Martin and Braxton Miller as Nick Martin will help fill the center spot and Braxton Miller will help build their need for speed. Now, on the defensive side, Last year, they were third in the NFL in total defense, which is pretty good considering when they defense. Brian Cushion is still a good linebacker. J.J. Watt, as we know, he's a beast. He's a force to be reckoned with. And they got Jadavion Clowney, who got a few sacks last season. Um... Look for them to be not to go A and eight this year. Look for them to be on the top of the AFC South with either ten or more wins. They have a good team. Um the offensive line is one of their main questions for concerns, knowing that they were sixteenth in the NFL and sacks allowed. And Maybe this could be the workout season that they get to the divisional round. Now it's time for the Indianapolis Colts. Last year, the Indianapolis Colts were overhyped, in my opinion. Everybody thought they was going to be able to, com to compete excuse me, with the New England Patriots, knowing that they got Andre Johnson and Frank Gore in free agency. But... Sadly, it didn't work out that way as Andrew Rupp went down for injury. Matt Hasselback, Charlie Whitehurst, they, all their quarterbacks were getting injured. It got so bad that they had to bring in Josh Freeman for the last game. They still managed to go 8-8. Eight and eight. I don't really know who they really got in free agency. They got Ryan Kelly in the draft center from Alabama. This would drafting with Ryan Kelly will be Andrew Luck's fourth center in five seasons of the NFL. He's already had four centers, which is the reason why he's a fumble prone for quarterbacks. And they drafted TJ Green safety from Clemson, who has good playmaking ability. Who can help rebuild that secondary with along with Mike Adams and Vontae Davis. They the offensive line is pretty terrible. They were 17 in sacks allowed, and their defense isn't any better, as they are 27th in total defense. The thing I noticed with Indianapolis is they don't really have a pass rusher that can come on the side and pressure the quarterback. That's one of their main problems. I really thought they would address that problem in the draft, but apparently they didn't. Um, so look for this team to struggle to get into the playoffs come playoff time. And if they do, they'll probably be a wild card. But they'll get Andrew Luck back. And hopefully they can sign to a long-term deal. Next up, 
is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, the Jacksonville Jaguars, everyone thinks that they have a strong chance of making it to the playoffs. And they their chances are a little bit better, but I still think they need a little bit more improvement when it comes to the offense and defense. And free agent, they, they beefed up their defensive line by signing Malik Jackson, Super Bowl champion from the Denver Broncos, who, when I watched him play, was a beast. He, he wasn't really talked about knowing that they had all these good defenses such as all these good defensive players such as middle linebacker Brandon Marshall, Bob Miller, and the Marcus Ware. But he is also a guy that can get after the quarterback and this is what the Jaguars need with that front with that front seven. They need a guy that they can put there at third and long situations or third down situations that can rush the quarterback and get in the backfield and get tackles on running backs in third down situations. And that's where the defense struggled the most on getting opponents off the field on third downs. In the draft, they went back on defense some more, drafting Jalen Ramsey, cornerback slash safety. In my opinion, I think he's way better at safety, but he can play both. But as from Gus Bradley's words, he will most likely be playing cornerback at the beginning of the school year, at the beginning, excuse me, at the beginning of the NFL season. They also, in the second round, were able to get the guy, the other guy they really wanted, a you know, linebacker, Miles Jack, from UCLA, who had an ACL injury, which really lowered his draft stock. But people still say he has game. Now, on the offensive side, they still haven't addressed their offensive line. The offensive line was wrecked as they were 29th in sacks allowed. And that's one of the major reasons why they really couldn't get a lot of wins that they needed to get into the playoffs. But the offense still did pretty good as Blake Bowles was 11th in passing yards per game. And he has very talented wide receivers. And Allen Robinson, who really emerged. Everyone said he was going to have a breakout season last year. And he delivered. I think he was tied for first in NFL touchdowns. And Allen Hearns who just recently signed a $400 million extension with the Jacksonville Jaguars, has scored 10 touchdowns, over 1,000 yards, and they got the young running back in T.J. Yeldon. But the Jaguars, beware, they could make some noise. With Telvin Smith emerging as one of the best linebackers in the NFL, you got Paul Kozlowski, um, Elite Jackson, Devon House, Dwayne Watts, Jonathan Cyprian, who had injury, who was an injury prone this year. His defense is looking pretty scary. And last season they were ranked 24th in total defense, which is pretty bad. But Gus Bradley's a defensive coach, so he should be able to fix that up. Finally. The Tennessee Titans. Last year they went three and thirteen. They they got a franchise quarterback in Marcus Mariota, who before he got injured was, in my opinion, finna win rookie of the year. I think he had a completion rating over sixty five percent, which is extraordinary good considering the talent he had on his team. Kendall Wright. Darrell Beckham, Darrell Green Beckham, and whoever they had, Bishop Stanky playing running back, and they had Delaney Walker, who is probably a top a top three tight end in my opinion. At, and in the draft, they didn't really fulfill their needs 
on offense because they didn't. Re they got one defensive lineman, Jack Collin, out of Michigan. No, offensive tackle, Jack Collin, out of Michigan. They should. They could have traded up, but since they traded for Demarco Murray, they gave up their 15 round pick, 15 first round pick. So if they want to select another O lineman, they'll probably have to trade up. Their defense wasn't that bad. They were 12 in total defense. Um, they were 26 in passing, and they allowed the most sacks per game in the NFL, which is a big reason why Mariota got hurt, especially when he got two-piece by the Cincinnati Bengals. That was good. If the Tennessee Titans could give Mariota more protection, I really think he could help this team get back into the playoffs. But they still got a few more rebuilding to do. Getting a little bit, they need to get a little bit more better talent at wide receiver. Even though I like the glimpses that they showed the world going back on and Kendall Wright. Now, overall, the AFC South. It's getting a little bit tough. The Houston Texans will probably most likely win. I think in my opinion, I think the Houston Texans will win at least 10 games and make it into the divisional round. The Indianapolis Colts, I think, probably will either go 8-8 eight and eight again or 9-7 because I just don't think that they have enough pieces to make a deep playoff run, even though they will have Andrew Luck. But their defense and their offensive line really has to get better. And the Jacksonville Jaguars, they have a lot of good young talent and I really and I'm really looking forward to see what they can do with that league young rookie talent at the start of the season. And the Tennessee Titans got Derrick Henry and DeMarco Murray. Two good running backs. I expect Marco Murray to start. And yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for walk watching. And again, like, subscribe, share, and comment down below what division would you like me to do next, and what teams do you think show the most improvement, and what teams do you think will make it to the will not make it to the playoffs. Thank you. I'm JT the Juice Man, signing out.